My friends, welcome back to the United Federation of Planets. My name is Daily Fix, and we are continuing somewhat where I left off. I did a tiny bit of work on uh, on, on some of the star bases as well as the uh, uh, the planets, but you can see there is still so so much more to do. Uh, but I'm not going to bother you with that. Uh, as you can see, consumer goods is now a negative 66. We are getting there. Uh, what I'm worried about is the moment that we get uh, the Bolian League in there, um, it will destroy my economy again and we'll have to start all over again trying to fix uh, the mess that has been created. Now, as you can always also see that um, we are working the fleets. Uh, I am aware of this, um, uh, how do you call it again, this doomsday machine or something like that. We are going to be attacking it. What's this? Okay, it's not... Ooh, my game is, is... I don't know what's going on, guys. Is your game lagging as much um, as mine? Oh, here we go. Negative 103. That's just bloody amazing. Uh, also, when I wanted to start recording today, I had an update for version 2.2.7. Uh, unfortunately, New Horizon isn't on that level just, so I had to roll back to um, 2.6. Uh, I'm looking very much forward to the future, seeing what it will do. Also, this war, my allies are doing a bloody amazing job. I'm really, really surprised about it. But they have occupied for 11%. But uh, the star battles, the attrition, we are definitely giving them a good run for their money. Um, only a negative 43 war score. So I'm, I'm actually um, not too keen on getting into that fight. Uh, fleet is at full strength, apparently. Apparently it is, at uh, 81 of 200. It is uh, somewhat odd sometimes. Uh, but I'm glad that it is uh, finally on that level. Let's take a quick look over here. There are still a few ships being uh, built. Uh, not all of them are ready, as you can see over here. I think it was a good choice to um, spread out the fleets around my... Um, run my construction bases. Now I do want to start construction uh, over here somewhere eventually. Um, we have a, a naval depot over here. Maybe we want to change it into a, a shipyard. A reason for it is because of um, most likely the Klingon Empire and the uh, Sona Command uh, will want to go to war with me and that is all fine i i actually am looking very much forward to fighting with them as well uh, also i want to do a a fleet yes in the comment section um baseball boy has been busy with a, a bit of a role playing session um the diamond ships um and i, I want to make a one one ship fleet the diamond fleet uh, after a long time, in the, okay, so here we go, initiative again, let's do shipboard activities. He's already working on it, I guess, as a scientist in orbit. That is so funny. He needs to be his own research program. I can't do it by clicking just do the research job, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. We'll uh, definitely have to change a few things. Well, while we're waiting for... Um, let's say while we're waiting for the uh, ships to be building because I do want to start taking that I didn't focus on this one because it is not inside of my space uh, it can pretty much destroy Sol um, we don't have to forget that let's let's take a quick look here starboard activities well played I guess that means he is now not uh, busy anymore uh, go back and assist in the research there Let's take a quick look. So, a lot of things are queued here. Uh, with lack of amenities as well as uh, jobs. So, let's start here with entertainment center. Jobs, enough of the rest of it. I could just upgrade you. So, let's do it. Uh, there is some upgrading to be done. I'm just going to upgrade whatever I'm able to. And we'll just see where it all strands. Or goes. Or whatever. How are you guys all doing? Because that is a question I ask way too little. I do want to make this into a sort of a science or unity or just 
a place where consumer goods is being created because it is uh, not going too well. Uh, Frontier Hospital is definitely... What am I lacking? Or am I just lagging out? No. What is your problem? Oh, I just can't make it here. Apparently. Which is weird. Uh, let's go for the entertainment center then, whatever. Uh, what else? Upgrading. Start doing so. All of it. Uh, I just am queuing up jobs because I just do not like how this all works. I don't. You know it. But in version 2.7, sectors should have been changed. And I'm really looking forward to that. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to that so, so much. Field Repair Depot and Dry Dock. Oh, that is interesting, actually. Support Aura device only installed on battleships. So this is just... Um, hull and Armor Regen. That is kind of cool. Research from society. I do have that quite a bit. Um, let's go for the uh, for the dry dock. That uh, really is interesting to me. So how are the fleets doing at the moment? Let's see. So you're almost ready. That's what I. That's all I'm asking for. Just almost be ready. Uh, I don't care about that. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. Great. This war. So as you can see. Uh, we're kind of suffering at the moment. Um, attrition is going up. And me building ships most likely is not really working out well. Um, how is this? Wow, you have been uh, trying to push, but you're being pushed back by the looks of it. You're going for the entire border here. Oh my god, look at this. That's so nice. Um, I don't care. I do not care. Now, I've been told to go with these guys, apparently. Because they are just as strong as the Vulcans. But I don't see a reason to do so. They're, oh, they are unfriendly. They are, bloody, they are very pathetic. Uh, but still. The Hunter's Lodge. Don't even know what that is. Um, speaking of the rest of it, let's see. Starbase, you have some unused slots. How are you guys doing? So, we are just completely going with shipyards. What else do we want to have? You are being built, crew quarters, that's nice. And this is where I get more trained officers. Let's do it. And we should build the uh, warp inhibitors. Uh, otherwise, they can still jump out of my systems. But, should we really care about that? And I know that for a fact some of you are going to say yes. Yes, you need to care about that because of reasons. And I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't know about that. Shall we start helping in this war? Or shall we just focus on this device? Um, I don't know if the 5.9k is going to be enough. And there's even one ship missing. So it's going to be up to 6k. Having three, three fleets, 6k, it's like a dream. Coming through. Or true. Not through. Through is getting through something. Through. Oh, whatever. Anyways, uh, the Bream has closed their borders. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be bothered by that at all. Um, weird thing is, what is up with the fluctuation? Food and consumer goods has always been a problem. I uh, am aware of that. These guys are all upgraded. Can't do anything else. I could build two more bases. I'm actually interested in doing so. Um, this would be a nice base. And the reason why I would like to have this one is um, because it's in the center of this territory. It's only two or three jumps. And it would be just as many jumps to the Klingon space as well as to these uh, guys. So definitely a good position. Let's upgrade you, make you into a shipyard. Health oh, whoa, there's a lot of things added. What's this? Early warnings? I don't care. Trust growth. Trade attraction plus 10. It'd be nice. 
not really going for it now because I'm still waiting to um, to invest a good portion of my influence into the bullion league, get him into the federation. And we're still trying to clean up the mess that the Andorians made. I still do not understand how it is uh, possible for, uh, let's say, oh, let's get these guys in there. Look at that. That's nice. Um, how it's possible that they actually were a, um, a threat to my kind of species. I colonize you as well. Tholians, go. And there is one more planet. I'm not sure which one, so I'm going to hold off. Um, you, colonize. We will just keep colonizing with uh, whomever is uh, interested. I don't want to stop colonization at all. Also here. We're going to be spreading them out. We're going to have so many planets that I'm going to be sick and tired of looking at them. <laughs> I really hope that the... Um, the sector changes are going to be as good as I'm hoping they will be. Uh, but I'm, I'm having a bad feeling so far. I'm having a bad feeling. And it's not because they don't try. It's because there is there is a lot behind of it. Uh, everything works together with it. it it's, it's a lot of work. Uh, you have to give them credit sometimes. Uh, you have to give, really give them credit sometimes. Let's see. So, we're lacking a... Good amount of ships in the first fleet with the Enterprise. I don't want to send you off because you are quite necessary. War has broken out. There is some war broken out between the Borg. Again with the Borg, that is so nice. Uh, with the trap, they will die. Um, there is a bit of trap there, there is a bit of trap and a bit of trap. So the Borg definitely spread uh, with the trap. Uh, Bolian League progress, 60%. This will bring it up to 75%. Yeah, 75. I'm really interested in seeing what the Borg will do. I will not click them because they're quite loud. But th this interests me a, a great deal. And I would like to spread the Federation towards the Borg. Have a good fight with the Borg. Uh, I would also like to start uh, in investing in a Romulan Star Empire War. And then most likely the Sonic Command and the Klingon Empire maybe get a neutral zone somewhere. I'm not sure if it really is doing something, but still. Uh, the Orion State has insulted me. Look, um, could you not become a vessel or so? Can we do... Oh, we could destroy them by the trade embargo and they are definitely pathetic and inferior. They probably are not able to put up a lot of, um, of a fight. Look at this. The, the, this is what their free, uh, the fleet is looking like. If, if I send a fleet here to start the war, send them in there. They lost everything. And we could, in theory... Well, I can't claim. That, that's the one thing. Uh, oh, here we go. Upgrade to the alloys, uh, which is definitely nice. Planetary shield, reflective sheeting, starbase capacity. Let's go for the planetary shielding. Ooh, why not? Why not? I also want to free more slaves because uh, we're good like that. Let's uh, buy a bunch of uh, consumer goods. There you go. Oh, come on now with my bloody ship. So I would be uh, very much interested in doing so. Uh, he's definitely chewing away at this planet. I wish I could see what was actually going on. Uh, new technology here. The dry docks. Let's see what it will do for us. Repair stations. Engineering station. Administrative capacity. Yeah, 105. We're at 5. This doesn't do as much. They need to increase this. Because larger empires, that it's a plus 15. It just, it does what? A bit of um, campaign costs going down. Leader costs going down. Leader upkeep going down. Outpost building costs going down. It, it doesn't do as much. So, let's go for the ship upkeep. I think that's a, that's, that's a more important one. Because the ship upkeep is... Is it alloys? I think it's alloys. Look at this war going. I like it. So they didn't get the entire Ferengi alliance out of it. Negative 27. They will go for a full piece. Let them do it. I, I, 
this is what I wanted to see. We were all complaining, like, what, in version uh, 2.2.1, like, the AI is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And now it is. They are warring. They are actively warring. And they are doing a darn good job. A lot more so than I am. Um, Vega Station. Let's see. The Fleet Academy is nice. But is the Dry Dock something that is in here? Um, it is not what I hoped it would be. I was hoping it would be uh, speeding things up. Oh well, uh, look, I'll regen uh, that's all nice, but we can just push prepare. Okay, I was too excited for, for no reason. We're going to send in our two fleets in here. Uh, main reason, I want to have something done this episode. Go. Go here. Actually, you can join the party as well. Uh, pressing 2 won't do us any good at the moment. So, control 2. Here we go. Great. Earth. Yeah, yeah. Great. We got a peace deal. Okay, this is not too interesting, actually. Oh, well. So, minerals are going down, meaning population growth is doing a good job. Um, because consumer goods is, as well, going down. Food is going down. Oh, boy. <laughs> a lot of things to do. Research agreements. Oh, uh, come on. We're running at three, and it sometimes feels just a bit too slow. What is your shipyard doing? Nothing. You. Nothing. You are building two colony ships. So we are not upgrading the fleet no more. All the ships have been built, apparently. So they are traveling towards their fleets. Um, and we'll just see. It won't be long until um, this fleet is most likely the first one to arrive. Or you. Let's see. 324. Yeah, definitely. You're the first one. The fleet with the Federation Starship, the flagship, the Enterprise. I want to get this guy out of the way. Also, I'm still hoping for an option to dial down a few of these things. Uh, trained officers, once again, is going to be an issue. But we have not plenty. We've got a few. Can we do something to change that? We are building a starbase over here, right? And it's almost done. Um, let's add... What are we lacking? A negative 4. Now, with the holodex, we can get a plus 6. So, it would be a plus 2, making trained officers no longer a large problem. But we need to invest in the academy building on more planets. The Sonic Command and the Telluride Republic. But these guys, the Sonic Command is going to be a problem eventually. And I do still not like the fact that these guys... Look, they... What is this? We currently have research um, of their overlord. Wow, they are 179.2% of their overlord's technology. That is amazing. That is so good. But... They, uh, look, we are supporting your independence. If the war that comes, it comes. And we will happily get you into the Federation. Let's go into this sector because our fleets should be arriving. I have no clue how strong this thing actually is. But it has been eating, apparently, some plant. Look at this. It's all cracked. And nice crystal, though. A lot of these planets should be cracked, actually. Uh, or just disappear. Look, they have been disappearing. These were all planets. This one is uh, about to go. It's a broken planet. Crystal asteroid. Baron. You will stay there. And you are going to aggressive as well. And you aggressive. We're going to wait until everyone arrives. Uh, 224 days. Well, maybe not. Maybe we are going to attack with this fleet and it... I, I don't know if it will win. We're going in anyway. Full throttle. Let's see what will happen. Uh, but I have a bad feeling about this. Wait, we can investigate this one? 
Well, actually, it um, the hull is dropping quite nicely. Which is uh, definitely surprising. Uh, once, okay, look, the second fleet just dropped in there as well. Uh, as you can see now, the train officers is no longer a problem. That means one of my ships got killed. Uh, but it's already halfway. This was a lot easier. I did not give enough credit. Yeah, you are not making it. So as soon as your armor is down, it's just all about your hull points. It doesn't show it here. Um, but as you can see here, the, the, uh, the amount of shields, armor and hull. And we are damage outputting this. Apparently. Okay, this is output? No, this, this will actually go down. A 300% efficiency. The total hull is... Uh, an it's going up. Oh yeah, it's definitely damage output. Usually you could actually see... We'll definitely... Oh my god, we're losing ships left, right and center. You wanted me to uh, attack this, but apparently we're not doing a very good job at it. Uh, let's pull you out. No, we are definitely, definitely not ready for that. We're going to join in the war. This is actually uh, quite horrible because um, I need to reinforce my fleet. That will do a negative towards here. So what I'll do is I'm going to send in my fleet towards the Ferengi. And we're going to help attacking them. Oh, man, I need to re- Oh, damn, I hate this. I don't like that. We were definitely not ready to attack the Doomsday Device. Not with what we have. And that really frightens me as well. Ship upkeep has gone down. Trust cap plus 25. That actually is a good thing. Uh, trust cap, there you go. Um, high, it will bring it to 90. Okay, the first fleet. Have we, uh, do we have enough to start reinforcement? Cannot reinforce because of the trained officers that are clearly a problem now. Okay, so we're sending in the first fleet. Or actually, we're sending in the third fleet. Over here. To start uh, with the war preparation. Land of opportunities have been gone. I'm okay with that. Go away. We still have 440 influence. That means that um, the doomsday machine was too strong for me. I'm hoping it will not move, but I have a very, very bad feeling about this. I really am. And I'll uh, I'll see what will happen. Really have not a good feeling. Ne negative 18, so we'll, we're going to push the war to an end, because we want to get the bullion in here. As for now, thank you all so much for watching. I uh, still hope you enjoyed, even though the, uh, the fiasco of the, uh, the fleet's fighting... And I'll uh, see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.